I was asked to talk about what is a naturalist, a person who studies natural history and natural science. But a naturalist does more than just uh, study plants, animals, minerals. They study the impacts of different species in their environment and all of the interactions within the environment or the habitat. We use all of our senses to do this in the field. We do not do a, a lab research as much as field research. And we go out into our environment and we use all of our powers of observation. We don't just look at something, we feel it, we smell it, we make observations in our journals about patterns that we are seeing. And some famous uh, naturalists have foreseen the extinction of species before it's even happened. Decades ago, climate change was already predicted by many scientists. And it's these these observations in the field that are so valuable. Some famous naturalists that we uh, aspire to be like are Charles Darwin, um, John Muir, John James Audubon, Rachel Carson, um, uh, Aldo Leopold, E.O. Wilson, and there's so many more, and, and they're a treasure of information. We, as Texas Master Naturalists, we're volunteers. We are committed to learning as much as we possibly can about our environment and giving back to our community and being stewards of the land and the habitats in our community. We have that respect and that appreciation for nature and all it can give to us. And getting out in nature is such a great experience because we can see the interconnectedness and how we are deeply connected to nature, which living in the city, you can sometimes forget about. So we're here to remind everyone about the beauty and the peace of nature. We're standing right here in a little habitat that I've been working on for about four years. And here it is winter, but there's still a lot going on in it. And it started out as a, a city planting where they had three of these pines. Um, the only one has uh, has made it through and then all of this other uh, I have planted with the help of many people and uh, we're so come spring this will really come alive with butterflies pollinators birds and even people people coming out to see the beautiful um, blue bonnets and um, uh, wildflowers. So get out there. <laughs>